is complementarianism. So complementarianism is the teaching that masculinity and femininity are ordained by God and that men and women are created to complement or complete each other. So the biblical view is that men and women are equal but have different roles. Isn't it odd that in today's society people are teaching you that men can be women and women can be men? They're changing the roles. And unfortunately, that's happened in the church first. They're saying that women can hold the, pa the, the office of pastor. And that's not a biblical notion. The only one who can hold the office of pastor is a man. The same way, the only one who can hold the role of mother is a woman. It's that simple. It doesn't mean that women are inferior to men. Men are the priests of their homes, and they're going to be held responsible for how the family goes. The woman is supposed to come alongside and be a suitable helpmate to the man to help the, the family grow in the fear and admonition of the Lord. The same way Adam was called to be the head and lead his wife. It's the same thing in the church. Men hold, can hold the role of pastor. Women cannot hold that role. So complementarians believe that the gender roles found in the Bible are purposeful and a meaningful distinction that when applied in the home and church, promote the spiritual health of both men and women. Complementarianism is the model for the home. The husband has the role of headship in the family. He is to nurture his wife and lead his family lovingly, humbly, and sacrificially. The wife has the role of nurturing her children and intentionally, willingly submitting to her husband's leadership. And nine out of ten times, she's going to submit to her husband in the way that the man submits to, to the Lord. If he's humble and submissive to God, that rubs off. That, that, that models it for the rest of the family. And the woman in, in like manner will submit to him, knowing that he's submitted to the Lord. He's a man of God. He's going to do what God tells him to do, not what the society or TV or whatever else is around us tells him to do. Complementarianism is the model for the church as well. Biblically, the men in the church bear the responsibility to provide spiritual leadership and training. The women are to exercise their spiritual gifts in any way the scripture allows. The only prohibition is to teach or to assume authority over a man. She cannot do that. 1 Timothy 2.12 When men and women are fulfilling their God-given roles within a church, Christ is honored, men lead their home, and men lead the church. We're the ones who are going to be held responsible for it, in fact. Okay, listen, if Jesus wanted to um, make a statement to society, he could have chose a woman to be one of the apostles. He didn't. Because he says, as it was from the beginning, the woman was deceived. Okay, Adam is the head, and he's going to be held responsible for how the family goes.